good evening, people. I have a very important tutorial. Uh, because Meander has got some significant changes. Not everything is uh, now what you want to be because they made uh, some changes. I was struggling because I couldn't activate my uh, add-ons in this new version of Blender. But I found a solution how to install. For example, I couldn't uh, install loop tools. Also, one of the tools uh, called the issue. It wasn't visible by default. Also, the surfaces add-on wasn't visible. What I did, it will, because if you don't see this, I will show you what I did. You have to install from disk manually. You go to local drive, you go one to one of the catalogs to current compilation, depending what compilation it is. 4.2 folder, uh, scripts, add-ons. Uh, some add-ons you can install easily. But, for example, For example, that one you could install because only one file is here. Let me to change theme because I still have to change theme. Now, is, now it is a lot back there. Little bit to the right. I can change color. It is little bit to the right. Oh no, where did I go? Let me know if you like that color or not. Okay, now I can work without any problems. And what you could do if you go to tab add-ons. Uh, unfortunately, this version, by default, you won't be able to see my favorite tools. My favorite tool which I wanted to install. If you want this to be installed, dynamic context menu. Oh, you also have to change key map, import. I have to change the key map because I don't use default uh, key map. Oh, if you want this add-on to be installed, because that one is my favorite add-on, you have to do a couple of steps. Make sure you know where it's located. You can see name of this file, but you cannot install separate files. But uh, the good thing is you can install zip file. I will show you what I exactly did. Space, uh, okay, name of this is uh, space 3D. Space bar menu, space rig, space bar menu. Uh, I use the seven zip to add it to archive, and I use the zip. Blender will import the zip file. Uh, okay, let me to show uh, type. I can we can sort by type. You have to pack to file 
Company of the Company of the uh, Files. Wait, wait a minute, I just have to go for you to be visible. Can zip run as administrator? Settings. Now it should be visible by default. You have to put separate files, space for the spacebar menu. If you see, you cannot in you cannot import separate files. They have to be added to zip files. Okay, I will show you how I import it. In in install from this. Okay, I will show you. Once again, uninstall. Maybe I will uninstall. Uh, hopefully, I didn't delete this. I just have to check in order for you to show how I install once again. Control V. You should see zip file blender we import. We have installed the dynamic context menu and you will be able to use your favorite tools in a new version of Blender. I did the same with B surfaces with Tissue. You have to do the same with Tissue because I saw YouTube video tutorials how beautiful that tool is. I haven't studied tissue tool yet, but I saw what people can do by using this tool. But if you want uh, to use in Blender 4.2, you have to put uh, to zip uh, archive uh, uh, separate files. Uh, you, have, you have to do the same. Mesh tissue. Okay, I will show you. You have to navigate to catalog mesh tissue. You have to add it to zip file. Add it to archive. Only use not 7-zip, but zip format. And even if you get rid of this, for example, because we have already installed it, but don't worry. Even if you uninstall it, you can still install it manually from local hard drive. And I was really worried that if I could still use my favorite add-ons. Yes, you can still use a dynamic context menu, uh, it will still work without any problems in new version of Blender. I will show you. Delete, dissolve faces. It works without any problems. When I hit a space bar on my keyboard, uh, you can use the mesh, depending what tool you want to use. Delete, dissolve face, everything works fine, just fine. The same with tool called the surfaces. The surfaces works okay because I have already tested in Blender 4.2 beta version. If you don't believe me, I can show you. Hopefully, okay, but I have added too many and polygon faces. Okay, I have to clean this up. Uh, 
Now, oh, okay, another thing is make sure you save references after installing and when you work with large projects, uh, select this option if you work with textures. Okay, I will save uh, install add-ons. Uh, okay, maybe I will add in fast terms. Okay, okay, people. Give me a few minutes. Because some tools, I wanted it to work in a, the newest version of Blender. And I will show you the surfaces. Shift S. Also to select tag. Uh, wait a minute. I think I have to uh, use... Uh, uh, sorry, people. I just have to check something. Annotation, add the annotation works okay. Pretty cool, sir. Annotation to curve, this works just fine. Uh, you, you can still use this tool without any problems. This you may curve. I wish I had the time to show you. I think I should be okay if I quickly show to you uh, how powerful that tool is. And this is why I didn't want to give up this tool. Okay, we will select this option. Do not select this and this. Okay, uh, I think I should be okay. Shift the D. But make sure you select like that. No, I should use rotate clockwise instead. Uh, wait a minute. Hopefully I do this correctly. This is very important. Uh, okay, I have to select the this. If the D. This is why, oh no. Sorry, my mistake. Shift D. This is why I needed this tool even in the newest version of Blender. Uh, now I will show you points. Uh, we have to select points. Uh, our our curve uh, and our polygon. I have to check if I properly used this tool. This is why I needed this tool to be enabled in uh, the newest version of Blender because my favorite uh, extensions add-ons were not visible by default. I hope you will like my video tutorial and have fun and support my channel and subscribe because I really put hard work into it. Sometimes I use my brain a lot to be able to uh, fix some problems. Blender developers did not publish video tutorial how to install add-ons manually from previous version of Blender.